Good evening guys, I'm Danny and welcome to my YouTube channel, Supercar Scabbard. So today I just thought I'd let you know I've bought a new car. Not a new car as such, this Golf here. So this is a Mark IV Golf, 2001, V6, 4 motion. 4 motion obviously means 4 wheel drive, partial 4 wheel drive due to the Haldex unit on the rear. Again, this vehicle cost me £200. They are getting quite sought after for on the eBay marketplace now, in excess of about £6,000. Now, plans with this vehicle predominantly is to make it into a track car. I mean, I paid £200 for the car, and if I'm honest, I went to go and buy an ST150 the other month, and that didn't go so well, so... I managed to find this off a friend who I was doing some work for at the time and said I'll give him £200 for his car and he seemed quite happy and uh, yeah, so here we are. I'm not sure what all this is here. Pretty sure that's some kind of power, yes, for the little unit there. I don't need that, so that can just go out and all this rubbish here can come out with it. That is no good to man or beast. So that can just get cut off at a later date. So, again, x ray vehicle. Again, like I say, it's got your usual veneer wood, a couple of cup holders. Like I say, hopefully, planning to take the whole dashboard out and uh, all the seats out and all that good stuff. So. Sound like something was rattling in here earlier. Oh look. It's got a free brolly and a flake wrapper. Lovely. So you say all the door cards will be coming off. All the window regulators. All the glass. All the seats. All the carpets. All the roof lining. Everything's gonna be coming and getting stripped out of the car. I always like looking underneath the cars, the back seats, and oh, nice little 50p. What's under the other side? Oh, always such great fun. Such a clean car, yeah. Well, we've got an extra 50p out of it, so great. So that is the interior of the car so far. Again, to be honest with you, I think it's pretty tidy. The seats, again, hopefully should sell. The roof lining is a bit dirty, but again, should sell. So, aim is to take everything off and sell it as it is. Bodywork wise, doesn't look too bad. Bit of rust at the back here. Again, the plan for the rear here is to just literally debadge the back. Get rid of the golf logo, repair all this rust down here, debadge it here as well, get rid of everything and just smooth it all off. The idea for the end product is to get a decent exhaust system made up, obviously I'll fabricate that myself. I've got a nice couple of exhaust tips which I'll be putting out the boot here and hopefully a nice back box which again will be included in a later video which should be coming out the boot. So again, boot here, everything's going to get stripped out of this. There'll be no carpets. If there's a spare wheel in here, there'll be no spare wheel. And hopefully moving the battery to the boot. And a few other bits and pieces. I want to change these lights, as this one's got a hole in it. And again, I don't think the rear ones look very good on a Golf. So again, on the side here, you can see a bit of paint defect. Where someone's had their hands all over it. Hopefully that should all just polish up. No dramas there. So yeah, to be honest, the car isn't in too bad a condition. Only things I could really see wrong with it was the front bumper has a bit of a grill missing there, but again, hopefully I want to rip out all the grills, get rid of all these grills here. Obviously I would like to keep the Volkswagen badge so it looks a bit more authentic. There's a dent here at the side. Again, take the whole front bumper off and See if we can play around with that a little bit. 
So, let's fire it up and see what it sounds like. Airbag fault. Airbag fault's always good. Engine management light, I'm pretty sure that is something to do with the lambda sensor the gent was saying to me. Let's put the bonnet and have a little look underneath there. See what we have. So under here, got the 2.8 litre V6, petrol engine. I believe it is the early variant of the R32, which is a 3.2 V6. Again, this is a 2.8 V6, which is closer to the VR6. It's a te technically a later derivative of the VR6, which was fitted in the Mark III Golfs. So again, it sounds pretty good under here. Planning to relocate the screen wash bottle down here and move the expansion tank into a different location so it all looks semi flush around here. Get a nice big Kevin and Nige on there, relocate the old battery into the boot. Need to get as much weight on that rear axle as I can. Yeah, not bad for a 200 pound car, so 200 pounds for 200 brake horsepower, which I think is pretty good. Doesn't sound too bad either, to be honest. So just do a few little revs now, see what it sounds like. That's obviously with the standard exhaust system on it, so I'm pretty intrigued what it would sound like with a DCAT straight through exhaust system. So, after that delightful road test, I have now locked the sump out of the car. So, I need to get another sump. Brilliant. So, that's the end of that, I think, for now. Cheers, guys. Catch up with you soon.